Hey everybody, this is Carlo here at Forge Glory Custom Leather Craft. Just wanted to show you, this is my cutting station where I cut all the leather, whatever it comes in. The station is, uh, it's, the leather's bigger than this table. Um, this right here, these are all heat shields that came off of a two, uh, well, pretty much a whole cow. So one full cow to make all these heat shields. This is what I got left over. So I use this to make other things because I can't get a full heat shield out of it but all these little pieces are still useful for the parts. This is what I throw away, too small to make anything out of. And then this is a whole heap, a whole thing that I haven't cut out yet. And I wanted to show you guys, give you some tips on how I, how I cut the, uh, cut the leather. Uh, so really sharp knife, but not too sharp. The reason why I don't like it too sharp is the leather is very fibrous. And so you'll hit parts where it's hard to cut and then parts where it's easy for the knife to go through. On those easy parts, see right here, I'm hitting a part where it's harder to cut. On those, uh, on those easy parts, your razor blade will slip. And if you slip your hand, and then you're going to cut into the leather that you don't want cut. So I always try to use a, uh, a knife that is sharp, but not too sharp where I'm cutting through like butter. And this heat shield is actually being made for Estrella Alvarez, better known as Star Bobber 11. Look her up on Instagram and on Facebook. She has an Indian Scout bobber. And one of the reasons why I like following her is because you don't see a lot of, I'm just gonna say, you don't see a lot of women with bobbers. They're rough to ride and uh, they're not very comfortable, but they're more of a, you know, get around town and whatnot. And uh, she's taking her scout bobber and she's actually bobbing it out. She's actually turning it into a true bobber. And I love watching that process. You know, bobbers were made as, uh, as race bikes. And so the mantra of a bobber is, if it, uh, if it doesn't make it go, it's gotta go. So bobbers will cut off everything from their bike and it's very simplistic bike. Not a whole lot going on with them. And that's because, you know, it's all, it's all engine, it's all go and whatnot. And not a lot of flash. And so, you know, you'll see somebody who's like, oh yeah, I got a bobber, but they got ape hangers on it. Ape, bobbers don't have ape hangers. <laughs> but you got more of a hybrid than a bobber. And so this one, she wanted a um, little extra storage space because you know, it's a, it's a bobber, so there's not a whole lot of storage on it. So this one's gonna have uh, two pouches on them. It's gonna have a pouch on each side, and then the pouches are gonna be covered in some uh, alligator print leather. So I'm really excited about making this one. It's gonna look really, really cool. I think you can see how, you know, in some parts I'm struggling to get the knife through, some parts it just goes through. And that's because of the, the fibers in the leather, like right here, going through really easily. You don't have to do much. So though the thickness of the leather is the same, the fibers are different throughout the whole hide. And there we go. Just cut off these little edges. 
and she's ready to tool and put those pouches on. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow uh, Star, Al uh, Star Bobber 11 on Instagram, on Facebook. Uh, it's really good content that she puts up. Have a good day.